All right, I'm Chris Hughes. I'm at the Measure Quick Lab today, and this video is going to be a little bit different. This is Measure Quick Made Easy. I'm going to slow it way down. Ready? So here's what we're going to do. We're not going to get into the weeds. I know Jim likes to make videos. If you're like me, we've binged watched his videos, but he's fast and he loves to give you all the features. And me and Jim been talking, and I was like, let's do a really slow video, Jim. He's like, why don't you do a slow video? And I was like, you got it. So here's the slow measure quick version, measure quick made easy. All right, so this is what, how I'm gonna explain it. From the measure quick screen, we can get into a job in three ways. Dispatch test, that's if you're getting a job from a CRM, right? Then you can go to task, you can just jump into testing initially by start testing. And then three, you can go to the maps, right? And you can pick a data point like if you've been to a job, you've profiled the job, you know everything about it, it's under your service contract, equipment maps where you want to go. You pick a pin, you go back to the job, you don't have to enter all the new data, right? So we're going to jump into a test that we've done before on this here lab system. We're going to select that job. So we're going to click, I'm going to skip the map because Jim's got a whole lot of equipment on here. I'm going to go to start testing. <clears throat> I'm going to do an AC or heat pump installation recommissioning. And we're going to add select equipment. Right? Right? And I know this second one is his lab unit. So we're going to select that unit. Okay, we're in split screen right now on his tablet. Okay? Now, here's the most important part, in my opinion it's the profile. We've been here, we have this system, but let's say we haven't touched this system before. If you're one who's like a measure quick classic user and you go right to the job and you're like, boom, you're in the gauges and you're looking at it and you're like, I wanna see some stuff. You probably know this, but I'm gonna reiterate it. There's a profile button in the information screen. You click, click profile, that stuff needs to be entered. Let's go over that real quick, right? It's a 2021 unit. Oh, let me back up. Let's start at the top. System configuration. It's a split system. It's a scroll compressor. It's a 2021 unit. It's a 1.5 ton BTU air conditioner. R410A refrigerant, right? This has all been entered because we've been here before. But if we haven't, we have to do this. This is important. It's a 13 seer unit. It's a piston. The superheat will be auto calculated, right? Or sub cooling target. It's three. <clears throat> Total external static pressure, 0.5 labeled on the tag of the air handler, right? All that's been in here, but we're just double checking it. If it's a new system, I'm gonna reiterate it, you have to profile it, you have to put all that stuff in. Click continue, right? What would I do next? I would wait for system stability. Shouldn't take that long. When the unit stabilizes, I'm going into vital scoring. I wanna see how the system's performing, right? We're stable, there we go. Now we can look at our vital scores by clicking generate, uh, <laughs> generate vitals report. We click that button and there we go. We can look at the system right now after doing the profile and we can see that we got green check marks all the way around. The system's awesome, right? But we're not done. That's our report. So let's say we're, let's say we're, this is a job, everything's great, but you got dispatched and you're changing the filter because initially you went out there to do a sweep. You clean the condenser, you clean the air handler, everything looks good. You can go into filter information. We're at 20 by 20 by five, right? And let's just go to the bottom and say, you know what? We installed new filter. We click that button, we click continue. Look at that workflow requirement on the right side. We get a check mark, awesome. Right? So I'm not going to get too far in the weeds, but look, we can go into workflow actions and now we can save test out. Actions on what we did. Obviously we're not doing electrical connections. Maybe we're doing some non-invasive stuff where we're not getting too deep into the weeds. We're in and out real fast. We check the condensate drain system. So we check for pass. Outdoor equipment looks good. Pass. Indoor equipment looks good. Pass right and we click continue 
Right, now, you can pretty much call this done, right? This is a, a simple cleaning, uh, filter change, system report. We've been here before, everything looks good, but we want a report. We click generate report, right? I'm gonna do a measure quick pro report. We're gonna select that tab. We're gonna generate a report. And there you go. We've got the vitals first. Then as you scroll down, you'll notice Measure Quick Classic is still kind of there. We still kind of have all those data points we're used to seeing. So all those data points are there. Now you're probably asking yourself, now what? I'm still inside Measure Quick. Click the exit button. And we want to sync to the cloud. And there you have it. Done. That's the fast way. In and out of Measure Quick. Measure Quick made easy. But wait, there's more. Come on in, Jim. All right. Show them what's going on. All right, so we've incorporated uh, TruePlow Grid into Measure Quick. It's, it's actually pretty awesome and pretty simple to use. And uh, in the toolbox, you just activate the, the TruePlow Grid. And we'll go ahead and, and uh, Chris will sort of walk us through it. So I'm going to go ahead and select use TruePlow app. And we'll go ahead and run a test for Measure Quick. And what we have here is an air handler. It's in the up pull position. You can see that we automatically ported a tonnage for Measure Quick and the return air temperature is coming in. We'll select our filter location of the filter slot because we're going to measure down here in the slot. Turn this to 400 CFM per ton. We'll hit next. And now we're going to get a measurement in our return. And this is going to do a full diagnostic of the duct system, return, filter drop, coil drop, uh, and air handler. So now we got uh, the filter measurement. So let's go ahead and move after the filter, Chris. And then uh, we got a good measurement on the filter. And then we're going to move this up and we're going to get the supply duct. All right. Now, we had to relocate the supply duct reading a little bit. So you're going to see if you've watched the video before. We went up a little bit higher to get a little less turbulent airflow uh, on this thing and uh, get a better measurement. So they hit take measurement again. And we're going to have supply duct reading. So now we got a return after our filter and our supply. And now we're going to hit continue on the app. And then we want to remove the filter. Go ahead and pull that filter out. And we're going to replace the filter with the truthful grid. Now you got to make sure that you get the orientation right on the grid. There is a, uh, let me show them there, Chris. Um, there is an orientation arrow here that says airflow in this side. And when we slide this in, we want to make sure that the gasketing is touching the back wall of the filter box, but we don't want it to go so far back that we leak any air around the filter grid. Also, you want that position properly so the air is hitting as perpendicular to the grid as we can. Yep. Let's throw the door back on. As soon as you throw the door back on, you can see we're starting to get an airflow measurement, so I'm going to hit take measurement. Now this is going to do a, a few second averaging to get a nice reading on that. And then we got our measurement, we hit continue, and yep. then we're going to just hit save, save that measurement. And then down at the bottom here, we can sort of review our test. So our airflow is in the right range, static pressure looks good. It makes it a lot easier if you're doing things like compliance testing or uh, if you're working for a municipality that requires true flow grid. This yep. really makes it pretty slick. So. Yep. We tried to make it as easy as possible. If you're putting data in Measure Quick, we're pulling that data over. You don't have to do double entry. You capture it, we're sending it right back to Measure Quick, right where it goes. Jim's going to take those calculations, put them to work. That was pretty much it. You got anything else, Chris? I'm good. You want to stay a little slower? I don't know that you... I could slow down a little bit. Yeah, I could slow I so. way down <laughs> if need be. Yeah, let me go pull my toenails, please. <laughs> All right, take it easy. <clears throat> I got system is unstable, Jim. No, it's unstable. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to wait for system stability. I hit it. And it did everything I wanted to do, but I wanted to do it again, but it took the option away because I did it once. Now I'm staring at the generate report screen. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. There you go. All right. All right, so the next thing I want to do is click save test out. Damn, system is unstable. Son of a bitch. All right, there we go. I'm done. What do I do? If you scroll back on the right side column, you'll see exit. Click exit. 
right? Exit, <clears throat> sorry, click, let me try that again. Yeah. Oh, I should say, I'm bringing my helper today. <laughs> All right, you ready? I don't know. Did you want to get in the airflow thing? Shit. I'm working for Measure Quick today. I was wondering about that. <laughs> no, it's, it's muggy out here. Y'all know how to y'all know how to make me feel at home. <laughs> well, you know that's putting off more heat than that's putting out cool right now. <laughs>